plastic hot dog package. That's way too thick. <laughs> Hello, internet people. Today I am going to do something special to my 1983 Audi Ur Quattro. That is my personal favorite car that I own. And if you're new and you'd like to get caught up on the last video where I worked on it, up above my head isn't a video to that, rather a video explaining why snails do not appreciate being used as baseballs. <laughs> So where I last left off, I was putting a custom turbo back exhaust on the car and ran into some fitment issues because this is a one-off exhaust that was manufactured by Two Bennett in California off of their shop car. So there was a little bit of fitment issues. After the video went up, they did offer to have the exhaust overnighted back to their shop so they could fix the issue with the fitment, however, I thought that was a waste of time because I don't know how that would be physically possible without my car being there. So instead, they refunded me back some of my money and Charlie made a custom solution to the issue that I had with this exhaust not fitting. We discovered the main issue with the alignment of this exhaust system was happening up here at the downpipe because when you disconnected the downpipe from the cat back, the exhaust system fit perfectly back there. Either way, problem solved. I think I would have took the nuts off before I stuck this in the air. It's not what somebody said. <laughs> no. This wire can come off now. Just in case. Put another little dab of robot toothpaste on there. Enough on the exhaust for now because I got something even specialer to do. A box number one, box number two, box number three, and box number four. So, as I've been saying for a while now, one of the things I wanted to upgrade after I powder coated my Ronal wheels is I bought a big brake kit for it. AP Racing. Except this is not as simple as just ordering a brake kit from AP Racing. It's a complete custom kit to be able to work with my factory 15 by eight Ronal wheels. Look at that. Oh yeah. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Rob in the UK for repackaging this stuff and then forwarding it on to me in the US since they didn't ship to the US. These are custom Railin Motorsport over in the UK, two piece rotors to fit with the factory Ronal wheels. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And don't worry, I'm doing the back. Now they don't make a big brake kit for the rear. However, I wanted to go with a quality product back there as well. So I got some OE Brembo new rotors for the back. These were not easy to come by. I wanted to put the best possible products on here None of the stuff is sponsored. I just, this is my personal opinion of the best of the best that you could do to this car. Without going full race car, it's not a full race car. It's a street car. Okay. I personally, not a fan of drilled rotors. They're just very common for them to get cracks in between the holes. I like slotted better. Oh geez. Come on. Oh, that's one of my hairs. Oh, that's two of my hairs. Hardware is in really nice shape. Wow, these brake pads are like brand new. Like literally, look at that. Ideally, I would dry ice blast this, but I don't really want to spend $700 on dry ice just to clean a heat shield. I still haven't found a way to purchase less than 500 pounds of dry ice at a time. As soon as I can do that, I'm gonna do another video because I want to do the MR2. Now this is just a hunch, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to trim this dust shield because I don't think it'll clear a larger rotor. Oh man, if it wasn't for it being bent in places, I think it would clear. I'm gonna try taking this thing off and see if I can bend it to clear. Yeah, you can see there's some warpage to this thing, especially right here. That's probably why it rubs. That's a quite a bit bigger rotor. I don't, I don't think I'm simply gonna be able to just bend that and make that fit. Make a template 
so I can get some new ones made for this car. There, that should work. genius idea. This is the passenger side. <laughs> now the lip will face away. Does it clear? <laughs> no, not even close. No way. I know I could just cut this thing or bend it, but I'm purposely trying to be difficult because of how rare this car is. And these things are, I doubt there's any more of these in existence. They're probably all rotted and destroyed. Since this one is not in perfect condition, I don't feel as bad and this isn't gonna ruin it. It's just gonna amend it. Plus C-130. And just like that, Heat Shield magically looks brand new. Welcome to the following day. This is a caliper bracket entombed in a plastic hot dog package. That's what it looks like at least. I want to pop them. That was kind of uneventful. It says Rayland on it. Neat. Shout out to Rayland. I like supporting small businesses. Oh geez, that's tight. Oh, this one's really tricky to get to. Okay. Okay. I got some brand new lines to go with these, some stainless lines. So there's no more point to what I was saying other than I was just letting you know. This car had blue brake fluid in it. I don't know if it's ATE super blue or what brand? It's probably ATE. I don't know if you can get it overseas because I swear when I was stationed in Germany, I was able to buy that there. It wasn't illegal in Europe. European viewers, let me know. Is ATE Super Blue legal? The TUV approved in Germany? Can you guys buy that stuff there? These calipers are in good shape. The factory ones. Girling. I'm not throwing these away, just in case you're wondering. But to hail? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. The new lines. These are really nice. Why won't you screw in your hole? Adria. Rotor. I already cleaned up brake clean, in case you're wondering. God, this thing is so light. It hardly weighs anything. Oh, this way. It's got like a Lego. A Lego block off screw. That's weird. It's a hard plastic yellow bolt. I'm going to keep that forever. And as far as the pads go, got some there. Oops. Stickers. They came with stickers. Lots of lube. people they have butt cheeks the fronts are done don't mind that thing over there the fronts are completely <laughs> taken care of and assembled now I gotta do the rears 
Were you talking about me when you said that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that thing over there. I, I have a name. <laughs> we'll just let you sit there and take that in for a minute and appreciate how good that looks. But you know what? I, I kind of like it. If it was like white splatter like that, I think it looks like a wild. <laughs> I'm really torn with what to do back here. You seem like little ladies, the little babushkas on their heads. My grandma used to wear a babushka. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. My grandma did too. She didn't want to mess her perm up, so yes. she'd wear a babushka. Same with my grandma also had a perm. Did but I she was British though. I didn't know British, like that was a thing to wear babushkas. I thought it was like Polish. My grandma's Croatian. Well, yeah, we're Croatian, so yeah. You're Croatian? Mm. I mean, these calipers look pretty damn nice after I dry ice blasted them. This thing looks almost new. I would like to rebuild it though, because I'm sure the seal's being 40 something years old. Wow, the pads are mint. It's like no, I mean, it only has 40,000 miles on it, so. Black diamond. E black diamond sounds like a strip. That's the black diamond package. Okay, put it on your head and like actually hold it there. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> I'm cleaning up the stuff as best as I can. I don't want to just throw some like caliper paint on this to make it match and call it a day. I feel like the correct thing to do would be to get another set of these OEM calipers and then rebuild them and have them powder coated to match the front of the car. And that's what I plan on doing. I think it's gonna take me a while to find another set. So if I end up finding a company in Europe that does coilover conversions on these still, I'll just have these like re-powder coated along with any suspension pieces at that time, instead of just doing a half-assed job to make them look good right now. Ideally, if I had one of those vapor honing machines, you could put like little tiny parts like in this, in there and just clean it up. That'd be the ideal situation. So I'm not gonna bother trying to scrub it with chemicals because these are zinc coated and they'll just deteriorate the zinc coating that's underneath here. So the correct thing to do will be to just get these powder coated to match the front. Ta-da! Dude, look how old that is. The card is like aged. Uh, brand new. Oh, it looks so good. Fresh. I don't know why, but seeing this makes me think of the song Everybody Wang Chung Tonight. Um, okay. Now it's... those new, the old pads were so thick. I don't even know if I have to compress the caliper much. How thick? 1C, 2C, or 3s? In the grand scheme of things, thick with a K is not as dramatic as thick with C or multiple Cs. What about a Q? That's way too thick. <laughs> That's like thick. Haha. <laughs> 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 There's that one. There you go. That looks fresh and clean. And the other side is done and ready to bleed. Small Sarah isn't here anymore to help me bleed the brakes, but Charlie just got here to help me since I don't have three feet and six arms. <laughs> That'd be like Shiva. Sure. From Mortal Kombat, Shiva? Mm -hmm. I'm really sad I'm gonna lose this AT Super Blue that was in there, but they stopped selling that in the US in 2013, so that's uh, that's some old brake fluid in this car. <laughs> squeeze, Charlie, squeeze. Owie. 1983 must have been the year Audi started catching their stride on putting things in terrible locations. <laughs> that's a seven millimeter bleeder screw. That is so tiny. It's open. Yeah, that brake fluid's nasty. Yep. Metal down. Open. Now it's coming blue. No. It was black before, now it's blue. Closed. Look how nasty that is. I know it's blue brake fluid, but that's not blue. Reservoir. Oh yeah, it's coming through clear. Closed. Moving to the front. These bleeder caps look like Legos. A little bit. A little bit. Ooh. Carefuling. The black anodized caliper was the right choice. 
It's so subtle and clean, especially with the yellow writing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Finally. Finally, 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 this is done. Welcome to the final day in this video and I'm going to start the car up for the first time and get to hear what this thing sounds like. I would have started it last night but look at the roof of this car. All the dust from doing body work in here on the Beetle. So I wanted to wait so I could wash this thing and do the first start when it's clean. Except I don't think I'm going to push it outside and wash it because it's super hot out there. Much better. Car is all clean. Now it's time to see what this thing sounds like. sky behind me but it's about to storm pretty hard here so I don't want to take it for a drive and see how the brakes are I still gotta bed them in but other than that and the K jet tronic system being a little unhappy right now it sounds amazing I wish I would have did a stopping distance before and after I never thought of doing that it's too late now but I definitely gotta bed these things in properly I don't know if you could tell at idle but this thing was lobing like it's got an aggressive cam in it which it doesn't. Whenever I let this car sit for a while the K-Jet Tronic system gets a little unhappy and it does that and if I drive it it goes away. So it might just be a quirk of the K-Jet Tronic system or it's a little tuning issue. It doesn't seem to affect drivability at all from what I can tell but um, I, I really don't care because I eventually want to do VEMS or maybe a Link standalone with EFI on here and get rid of the K-Jet Tronic. I know it's gonna make some people butt hurt to get rid of it, but I want to make a little bit more power. Not crazy, still keep it a 10 valve, just a little bit more power. Essentially the WRC spec version of this car in 83, I believe they're around 320 to 340 horsepower. And the only thing that was really different is they had a Bosch EFI system on here and a different turbo. Other than that, it was pretty much the same mechanically. So that's kind of like my goal is what I want to do for this thing power wise. Here comes the storm though. I can feel the rain starting to spit a little bit. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye.